All right, here we go. Let's rock some Karnov's Revenge for now. Do a little Sam Show 6 after. Just bum around on Fightcade, see what's up. All right, and I am going up against SQR Word. Starting off aggressive. Oh, thought the rush was coming there. We'll just keep flash kicking all day. There we go. Hey, already got a stun. Sweet. Didn't get the hands glitch, but that's okay. Still in a good position here. All right, win with the chip. <laughs> we'll take those. I'm playing a Guile clone. Of course, I'm going to be willing to chip. Round two, fight! Right, he's got the palm input on lock. Got to be watching out for that. Don't let him combo into it. Up. Ah, oh, crud from that far. And already I am down on life this round. And close to stun. Get a jump. Oh, wow. Okay. Gene Sweep is nice and active, which helps there. There we go. Get another stun. Hopefully kill off it. Not quite. I pushed that too late. Way too far for a throw, too. Damn, he stunned me. Oh, no. That's all right. That's all right. I made some blunders that round, but I can turn it around. Final round, fight! Make some space with that. Okay, he is close to stun. There we go. Still no glitch hands. Damn. I know it works a little bit differently on each character. How consistently it can happen. Damn! Okay. <laughs> I was distracted talking. If he's crouching, especially try crouching a light punch into hands and linking that twice. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I know it's easier to get multiple reps on wider characters. Uh, haven't tried it too much on Lee before. Also, Wedge, how's the audio? I tried boosting my mic this time. Might not even need the stun this time. Oh, crap. Oh, I was trying to wake up throw. I shouldn't have done that. There we go. Barely scraped out of that one. Audio level seemed pretty normal. Sweet, sweet. Okay. We got this going. Yeah, I know it last time I was really quiet, so I wanted to fix that this time. And hopefully did not overcorrect, but if you say they're good, they're good. Jump. Oh, no. Was not expecting the double jump. Oh, no. I mistimed my meaty there. That's okay. I lived. Okay, that was dumb of me to throw a sweep there. Need to be baiting the jumps more. Lee has a pretty fast jump. Lee wins. Final round fight. Try to adjust here. Oh, I thought that was going to be an air hit. Yeah, and I failed with my <laughs> wake up flash kick, so I got crossed up. That's okay. That's okay. Try to bait some of those jumps a little bit more here. There we go. Oh, I tried to 
slide, maybe get a little pressure going from that, but no good. That's okay, though. I'm in a decently comfortable position here. There we go. All right, crouch light punching the hands. Oh, I didn't go for the second rep, but I guess I didn't need it there. Not with that amount of damage on the board. Hard to fight the muscle memory. All right, he's close to stun. I may get another chance to do that. Oh. Cross up. There we go. All right, try it now. Nope, oh, dropped it. That's okay, though. I am once again not in a bad spot. There we go. Alright, so I just have to be a little bit better about baiting his jumps. Gene has some pretty fast light buttons to whiff for that purpose exactly. So I need to be taking advantage of that more. Instead of just going for sweep all the time. Gene's sweep is really good, but you know, like any sweep, it's got recovery on it. There we go. Try it again. Hey, there we go. Got some loops. We got the loops. We're looping. Oh, no. There we are. If you hit it, it's possible to get double glitch hands damage, I think. Yeah, that that is definitely something that can happen. Uh, it just all depends on the spacing, where I'm hitting it, on his body. Let's try it here. All right, not full damage, but still pretty good damage. I do. wins. Here, I'm gonna plug my stream in one more place if I have time to type it out. Well, I do not have time to type it out. <laughs> now he is ready to go. Oh, tried to get for, go for a tick throw, but no good there. That was dumb of me to throw that sweep out. I really didn't need to. Gonna jump at me. Oh, nice counter poke. Completely stuffed my sweep. Yeah, I deserve that. <laughs> I'm getting too eager to preemptively flash kick to try to catch the rush. This is definitely a good game for, like, killing your own autopilot habits. Ah, like that. Because if you autopilot too much in this game, if your opponent knows what they're doing, they can definitely make you hurt for it. But there we go. That time the preemptive flash kick worked for me. Final round fight. All right, nice counter poke. Good damage for him. Oh. Just narrowly avoided getting punished for that. Oh, catching all my buttons. Right, what do you got next? Poking after that. Ooh, come on, jump at me, jump at me so I can stun you. Ah, oh, crud, I did it again. 
That's okay. Oh no! I delayed too much. Oh, that, that was completely my fault. I went for the wrong route. Did not get the damage I needed. And that killed the round for me. No biggie, though. Here, let me plug my stream now. There we go. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to chat. Playing some Karnal's Revenge. Up against a very aggressive Lee player. Well, you know, there's no other way to play that character except aggressive. That's okay. I don't think this matchup is bad for Gene at all. Like, of the top four characters, Lee is probably the one that Gene does the best against. Oh, crap. Messed up my instant hands input. Okay. Okay. We came away from that anyway. Don't know if stuff might work differently on player two side. I know it, it does make the link easier. Like, I, I have a much better time doing multiple reps of hands on player two side than I do player one. But I don't know how that affects the glitch. That's okay. At this point, I don't even really need the damage. It's on me to make mistakes at this point. Like that. That's okay. He dropped his combo. There we go. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll happily take wins like that where I'm just mashing flash kicks out. It's fine. We're not playing for Capcom Cup money here. We are just having a good time. Oops. That little slide kick was not what I was looking for. But hey, no biggie. So I dropped the punish. Alright, try it this time. Alright, pretty good damage. Ah, crap. Cross up? Yep. Just love the chaos of classic fighters. <laughs> yeah, this game is certainly chaotic, especially when you get uh, into the matchups with the characters with the really weird stuff. You know, Karnov, Zazzy. Lee is honestly really straightforward. He just does a ton of damage, and he has a lot of good tools. I mean, Ray is, Ray is a pretty straightforward character, too. He's got a little bit more nonsense he can do with, like, whiffing wheel kick into throw, but... Overall, Lee is just good. And Gene doesn't really have much scummy besides hands glitch, so this is not really not really a matchup to show off the craziness that Karnov's Revenge is capable of, but it is still a fun one. There we go. I got the flash there, so I think the hands glitch activated, but it didn't really matter at that damage level. You can get three hands loops on Crouching Lee on player one side in training mode easily. Advanced Lee is just doing chip and pressure with the dumb fire blast input, yeah. And yeah, we're playing some Karnov's Revenge. Gonna maybe switch to Sam Show 6 with Wedge whenever I'm done with this match. Oh, tried to stagger into the sweep and I got hit for it. What? That was a weird one. I guess you get to see a little bit of the strangeness with stuff like that. Me whiffing right through him with my slide. Up. Oh. Nope, I shouldn't have done that when he was crossing me up. That is on me. There we go. Let's just reset this. Round two, fight! 
Whiffing buttons is something I need to do more in this matchup is to get him to want to jump. I mean, I can always just zone him, too. Yep. That was not a good one to whiff. I think on player one side, Lee has some cross-ups that he can't do on player two side. I don't know. I don't... I'm not 100% sure of all of the side differences in this game. Like, I do like to play this game, but it's not one that I really study at all. There we are. And honestly, this is like... I think this is the perfect side game to have for anybody. It's very fluid, very easy to pick up, and generally, if something seems like it should work, it does. So you don't really have to grind much at all to pick up the basics. There's just a lot of crazy matchup stuff to know over time. Yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't been doing the palm more. It is an awkward input. Okay, I'm talking too much again. Ah! Karnovs has a lot of technical weird stuff, but also most of the broken stuff is pretty easy to do. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. That's a good way of putting it. That's just the way the game is. And that's fine. It's a lot of fun. Let's see if I can get three reps on him. Oh, crap. Nah, I shouldn't have gone for the flash kick there. I really just need to start blocking the cross-ups instead of trying to flash kick on wake up every time. Dean's flash kick has that satisfying snap to it. sound design in this game is just on point. The hit effects, the, the stun sound. All right. No, I was too far for three reps. There we go. Maybe I need to be faster on those so I'm not pushing him out as much. Just, it looked like I was not going to be able to walk in and get the last one there. All right, get another chance. Ah, that's okay. Need to have some confidence in doing that. It's hard to fight the muscle memory and stop thinking to myself, oh no, I'm too far out. This and Breakers are the best fuck around with friends games. Yeah, I, I agree. Breakers Revenge is really fun for that. I do enjoy playing uh, Condor on occasion. Ah. Although Condor has some genuinely awful matchups as uh, grapplers in old games tend to. Condor Saizo matchup makes me want to cry. There we go. Oh, I think I got the glitch on the second rep there. Sweet. <laughs> Yo, same. Condor Nation rise up. Yeah. I don't play a lot of grapplers, but Condor really is a good time. When you're not fighting Show or Saizo. Or uh, Dalong. There we go, that time was uh, glitch hands. I could have gone for more reps, but I usually like to only do the multi-rep route on a stun like that. <laughs> yeah, unless they pick Saizo. You can do four reps on player two side? Okay, I need to start doing more than two then. 
Gotta have some confidence in my execution. Oh, okay, never mind. He's switching to Ray, so that changes things. This matchup is less good for Gene than the other one. That's okay. I just need to get the stun. Let's try it. Oh, nope. Dropped it. There we go. Big tornado, yeah. <laughs> I, I still like to think he's saying baked potato. If you're not going to anti me, I'm going to keep jumping. Oh. There we go. There we go. Get the stun. Oh no, that didn't kill. There we go. <laughs> Just panic flash kick. Panic flash kick. Damn, you got five loops. I got to step my game up. How do y'all find these games? Uh, mostly word of mouth and just seeing what looks interesting. Like, I heard about Karnovs from uh, Polar Bear because he used to run, like, frequent tournaments for it, and now he does them less frequently. I think he's going to be doing more, though. He's been showing some interest. But that's where I first heard about the game. All right, let's see here. Two. Oh, almost got three. Did I just auto-correct my slide and go the wrong way? I'm not going to go in. Why should I go in? Oops. Timed that badly. Good varying the, vi the fireball speeds to make me land on him, though. Get me into a rhythm. Yeah, hang out with the right weirdos on the internet. Look into, you know, any, any scene for any small games that you can find. You find some of the coolest people there. All right, let's see if I can get some more reps. One, two, two. I do not need to be in your face right now. Oh, caught me throwing the fireball. There we go. There we go. I do. Is he going to stick with Ray, switch back to Lee? Yeah, there we go. There's Lee again. I will try to do more reps. Train my hands. Here we go. One, two. Oh, oops. Tried to walk forward, get down, light punch into the mash, but <laughs> I got the slide. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, fake cross up. Okay. Tricky, tricky. Good stuff. That was a dumb jump of mine. 
There we go. Get out of that situation. Do a better one. One. Nope, got pushed out too far. My execution is not great. <laughs> That's okay, though. I can still play Gene without getting a ton of uh, reps. Just, you know. Ah. <laughs> this game uses uh, Final Burn Neo. Yes, it does. Four button game, very very simple to pick up. Normals kind of chain into each other. Combos are very lenient generally. Wonder about light kick. Nope. Should probably just stick with light punch into the hands. That's okay. This is just a good situation for me. Cross up. There we go. There we go. That is something I should probably practice at some point is getting more hands reps. Oh. Wasn't expecting to land there. That is another thing you'll see in this game is some very ambiguous left-right situations. Need to cleanse from Flycast. I, 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 I understand. <laughs> you know, Flycast is getting better all the time, but sometimes, you know, sometimes it doesn't cooperate. Speaking of Flycast, I also wanted to work on either Shizumaru or Sagetsu in Sam Show Six tonight. Wedge, if you're still up for that, we can do some matches in a bit. Oh, I crossed through. There we go. I could have gone for another rep and gotten the kill, but at, at this point, it doesn't matter. Sweet. Yeah, most of uh, most of Fikade is on FB Neo. It's just the stuff for uh, nice pump. It's just the stuff for Dreamcast, Naomi, a Thomas Wave on Flycast, and then, you know, a uh, couple of Super Nintendo and Genesis games they got. Oh. Damn, okay, okay. I'm not watching myself here. There we go. Oh, dropped it. Good stuff. Unless you want to play Dankuga, my is going to be wild. It, it's been so long since I played Dankuga, and there's a lot of it that I never really got down on Hitbox. So I don't think those would be great matches, honestly. I mean, I could. It's been... I do kind of miss the game. Just need to sort of relearn it at this point. I'm good for whatever, it really. <laughs> Liza was always a matchup that drove me crazy in that game, though, because I played McCoy. There we are. Liza, Gecko, and Kazuya were probably my most hated matchups in that game, which sucks because they are they are arguably like the top three characters. Oh, Azteca. 
as Tekka McCoy is an even matchup that feels awful. <laughs> I like to think of it as disadvantageous for both characters. Because it is very much just about who can get that momentum going first. Oh, nice, nice. Nope, no cross up there. Good chip, though. Oh, I didn't get the stun from that. Or that? Damn, where is your weak spot? I can see it glowing, but where is it? That's okay. I was hitting those at some kind of weird angles, so I guess I didn't hit the weak point. Round two, fight! Alright, he, he knows I'm trying to bait him to jump now. There we go. Oh, only needed one rep. Sweet. Lee's stun box is really tiny, even if you're hitting in that area. I gotcha. I feel like even with that, Gene doesn't have a hard time stunning Lee. I overcommitted. But so did you. Yeah, he knows. Round two, fight. Whoa, 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 what? Was not expecting that. As I said before, this game has some very strange left-right situations sometimes. Even if you're not planning to make them happen. Ah, almost got three. That's okay. I do. I should have anti aired that. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. Haven't seen him go for throws much so far. Oh. I am mistiming all of my attempts to get out of this corner. Very close to stunning him. There we go. There we go. One, two, too far. Damn. <laughs> That's okay. At least I'm making the attempt. Maybe I should have walked up a little bit further into him. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. You don't need to be jumping at me when you have that much of a lead. It's tempting, though, because Lee gets some great damage off his jump-ins. If he had just stayed on the ground a little bit longer, that could have gone differently. He got to walk up a lot more for the second hit. He gets wild frame advantage off the hands on P2 set. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm probably starting or stopping my initial walk in too early, and that's why I'm getting pushed out so far. 
Definitely something I need to practice. Jump out. Oh, not gonna jump out. Oops! Oh no, I messed up the initial hands. Crud. That is something I gotta remember. Walk in further after the first hands. Worst comes to worst, if the combo drops there, I'm still at least safe on block with hands. Oh! Went right through me. I see some funny stuff in this game. Oh, like that. And that, I think, is the player one exclusive tech for Lee. Like, you don't get as much frame advantage from the player two advantage, but he gets some unique cross-ups there. All right, almost got the stun. Let's try it now. Oh, nope. Messed up. That's okay. Still got a lot of damage on the board. The fast dagger Rekka is really good at going through you. You can just do it on purpose as a mix-up gimmick. Yeah, I, I, I have seen that before. It can be hard to react to, though. Ooh. Who's patient now? With punish that. Oh, nope. He's stuffing my anti air sweeps. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh no! Oh no, I completely dropped that. You can have that round for that. It's yours. Can't kick you if I'm too busy kicking myself for dropping that. I do, I feel like I'm pretty consistent with the, with the hands input. I do occasionally drop it, but like, I know using a macro for that is frowned upon for a reason. For Gene and Zazzy. So I'm not gonna do that. All right, let's try again. Nope, I walked out. I, I didn't walk in far enough. I'll still take the, the kill combo from that. Wins. Honorably not using the ABCD macro for free hands. Yeah, it's 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 too good. Like normally, I am fine with macros in 99% of these games, but for for Karnov specifically, I feel like it's too good. Okay, now you're with punishing me. He's getting a lot more patient now. Oh, yep. Just need the stun. There we go, there we go. I use CD macro so I can press AB plus CD. Oh, that's a good idea. I can maybe do that, but I don't exactly have a moment to remap my controls. Hey, there we go. Zip right through him. After this, I'll tell him, like, maybe, I don't know, two or three more, and then I will switch to playing U-Wedge. 
Your choice of game. Sam shows six or down, Kuga. Yeah, snap your suspenders onto your nipples, Gene. You've earned it. Round two, fight! Oh, nice, nice. Now I'm the one who's not being patient. Yep. <laughs> Nicely done. Lee wins. Final round fight. Try to get some anti airs in here. Nope, got a little too eager to mash that. Oh no! Yeah, okay. He knows I'm too eager. Flash kick. I just need that stun. There we are, there we are. Oh no! Oh, I dropped it! Damn! Okay, yeah, I should maybe. Uh, Maybe sacrifice a tiny bit of that honor for a CD macro. Oh, uh, let's see. What do we got now? Two more. Two more, and then we will switch over to something else. Yep. Nope, not going to jump at me. Well, you are from there. You just keep jumping. There we are. We're playing some Guile now. Jean wins. Round two, fight. I'm just going to try to stay patient, zone him out. Some space. Get a jump again. There we go. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Read that situation wrong. I lost a big chunk of health for it. That's okay. I still have a lead, so I don't need to go in. You need to go in. All right, all right. Gene wins. And yeah, I, I appreciate the games too. Having a good time here, but I do want to get some variety in to the evening. That. Oh no! Stuff my fireball. Start up. <laughs> oh my goodness! The crossovers. Oh, okay, just barely. I need to kill off this combo, and I did. <laughs> He's sick. Got what I needed that time. Round two. Fight. 
that could have been hands there, but I flubbed it. That's okay. Oh no, that's not okay. All right, no cross up that time. It's a little late on that last anti-air, so it traded, but that's still, oh boy. Okay, yeah, that's death. <laughs> All right, final round of Karnovs for now. This one is for all the marbles. Final round. Who is getting those marbles? Oh no, my marbles! There we go. I forgot to walk forward more again. That's okay, though. That's okay. The marbles are safe. Good games. All right, Wedge. What are we playing? Sam Show, Dankuga. What are you feeling? We could even do five special if you want. Or whatever else. I'm pretty open. Sam Show 6 it is. Let's see. I think I will try working on Shizumaru first. I have played this character in the past. It's It's been a long time. Oh, here. Before we start, let me go ahead and update the stream information as to what we're playing right now. There we are. Sweet. So I have played Shizumaru in the past. It has just been a long time, and I haven't really tried him on Hitbox. So this will be a new experience. Which color was purple Shizumaru? Was it C or D? I'm going to guess D. I don't know. Are we stuck on starting network? I can try challenging you if that will work better. Hey, there we go. One more place to plug the stream. And you know what? If this doesn't work, we can switch games. Let's try that. Hey, there we are. There we are. Excellent. Right, now, where is Shizumaru? Let's try D. Did we get purple? <laughs> your nemesis. Starting network is your nemesis. Yeah, I, I totally get that. Okay, there we go. Purple Shizumaru. I like this color. What? Why did I get that? I didn't release it. I've been holding the E button. And I didn't let go. Ah, oh, tap is so nice. Oh, nice punish. Okay. That's all right. First round with this character in a long time, there's going to be some bugs to work out. Oh, 
Oh, stuff my tap. Cool. I shouldn't have bursted there. Still got the round. Still got the round. There's a lot to think about with this character between what you're holding for tap, what you're doing just generally in the match. Also, if I'm holding E, then I don't have wake up rolls, which not good. It is nice to have that option, though. Oh, nice. Let's see here. Oh, tap traded. Jump C is such a good button, too. There we are. <laughs> Tap saves the day again. Oh, you never seen this Sam Show before? This is uh, Sam Show 6. It's really fun. I run a lot of tournaments for it, too. Uh, next one is going to be on the 12th. Definitely check this out. It's uh, It's got a groove system. It's got a huge roster. All right. I got to be making more use of uh, continuous slash. Shizumaru has a really fast one. Just punish everything with it. Stick it into pressure strings. Iroha is a really fast one, too. And it can combo into tap, which is nice. Ooh, nice. So awkward maneuvering my fingers to do this the whole time. That's okay, get the DP. That's not going to be enough to really mean much of anything, though. Not with this amount of time left. Ah, if I hadn't gone for the pursuit there. Didn't get into Sam Show 5 that much, but 7 is fun. Yeah, I, I mean, every Sam Show has its own own qualities to it, but still kind of preserves the feel of the series. So really, at, at, every Sam Show can be somebody's favorite, which is why I really like this series as a whole. Oh, uh, this tap stuff is for the birds, but it's so good. Yeah, that's a true combo there. Because I was holding E, I can't uh, tech roll. Yeah, okay. 
Ugh. Okay, I, I need to find a better way to arrange my fingers for this. I don't really want to get in and remap my buttons, though. Why is my start button not working? Hold on a second. I know I mapped it. Okay, there we go, there we go. So we'll try a couple more with Shizumaru and then maybe switch over to Sogetsu, who I also wanted to practice tonight. Should have gone for continuous slash there. Oh, that damage, though. Such a comeback. Alright. Maybe I need to just be working in one tool at a time with Shizu. Trying to do too many things at once is just going to tie my hands further into knots. Oh, oh no, <laughs> went too far. Oh no, I was holding the wrong button. And that made continuous slash not work. Shizumaru has a glitch where if you're holding any button other than E when you do that, the continuous slash follow-ups don't come out. Oi. <laughs> that is something. That's okay, though. Hey, Butler, what's going on? I am trying to learn Shizumaru here and having a bit of a struggle with it. Oh yeah, I don't have deflect if I'm holding E also. So I don't have continuous slash if I hold D, but I don't have deflect if I hold E. I know we can slide between the two, but... There we go. That's why you play Shizu, though. That's okay, I can take that punish. Okay, okay. Iroha, yep. <laughs> Iroha is something in this game. Maybe if I swap where I have my E button so I can keep my thumb on it for Shizumaru. I, I don't want to have to like remap my controls every time I switch characters, though. That's a pain in the butt. Yeah, fair enough. follow-ups again. If <laughs> we both went for it at the same time, it looks like. It is nice having a true DP, though. Oh, no, I was too far.
Alright, nice avoiding the DP. I'll just do it again. Yeah, this will probably kill. I think I'm going to try some Soketsu. <laughs> this is just a little bit uncomfortable to, to hold tap like this while trying to do other things. I know I'm probably being too impatient and jumping off it too quickly. But I think I need some lap time with that character. <laughs> I might hop back on him in a little bit after I play some Sogetsu, but... I appreciate having my hands in a more comfortable position. It's going to be hard to pin her down with the waterfalls when she has that double jump. Maybe I should just try to air to air more. Ooh, nice. Oh, nope, dropped it. That's okay, got me. Oh, ah, crap. Was not meaning to do that, but that's okay. We'll come back. There we go, there we go. Oh, wow. Didn't get the punish. Oh, no, no pursuit. Need to get a little bit of chip or just get the timeout. That's fine. That's fine too. Timeouts are good. Oh, I overcommitted. Should have stuck a bubble out too. Oh, that sweep is massive. I love it. Oh, no. Flub my punish. That's okay. That's okay. Couldn't decide to go for Waterfall or the, uh, the Rush. And my hesitation cost me. But that's okay. We are learning tonight. I know Wedge is learning too. I don't think he's been playing Iroha a super long time. Okay. I need to not fat finger my burst is what I need to not do. Because that hurt. Okay, so Getsu is pretty fun. Oh. Oh, didn't get the punish. Oh, I should have gone for continuous slash. So Getsu has a really fast one, too. There we go. Get some rage. Oh, didn't get a punish on that. I should have just continuous slash when I landed. Okay. Get a combo off that. Get 
with the recoil into the bubble. That teleport is fun too. Ah, bubble stays out forever. No, I need to be the bubble buddy. Ah, I did it again. That's okay, I'm in a good spot. Oh no! Oh, okay, okay. I have a bad habit of drumming my fingers while I'm getting comboed and I occasionally fat finger a burst doing that. I gotta cut that out. Tell my hands to knock that off. Okay, yeah, he was waiting for it that time. expecting a longer route off that so I wasn't ready with the punish. Oh, nice. So I guess this continuous slash has some weird timing to it. I got to get used to that. Good baiting my throw. Yeah, that got me. Nice, nice, nice. The <laughs> circle step, it's fun. Baiting rolls is definitely something I gotta learn to do with Sogetsu too. Oh, nice cross up. Okay, yep, he was waiting for that. Got a nice whiff punish for it. Nice. Okay, good stuff. Getting the hang of him a little bit better, though. And now my start button is back to normal. I've had that happen like maybe once or twice before where the game just won't recognize that you're pressing start. It's not like it's a big deal though. Alright, good punish, good punish. He's got me there. Okay, the hop avoided my throw. Zero Hot does have that. Good punish, good punish.
Oops, wrong, t wrong route. Too far for that. Oh, wow, went right over it. I think probably if there's something that I'm not liking about him so far, it's his jump arc is not great. <laughs> All right, what do I need to adjust here? I need to get a better feel for the timing on his continuous slash follow-ups, and I need to be doing something to stop Wedge from just jumping into the air all the time. Because the double jump can get around Sagetsu's pillars pretty well, so maybe I need to be air-to-airing a lot more. jump throw is not going to work for me. That is bad autopilot habit. Normally you can throw somebody after they whiff a pursuit, but I guess Iroha recovers too quick for that. Committed. That is entirely my fault. Oh, damn, I overhead whiff there. sent out. Save myself just barely. But now I got no rage. My rage has been caged. in. Oh, no. I should have just gone for continuous slash there, too. There we go. Catch the low button with the overhead. Oh, 
I'm having difficulty pinning Wedge down for Sogetsu's mix. Need to work on that. Hero has a really difficult jump arc to pin down, though. Never know whether she's going to double jump or not, or which direction. Hey, there we go. Knock you into the bubble. Ah, that's okay. I'll take that trade. Oh, tricky cross-ups. What can I do here? Nope, nope, went over my foot. <laughs> I don't really know what Sogetsu's options are when he's disarmed. Like, I know he still has his slide. There we go, there we go. Get the disarm. All right, he's probably going to be looking for a slide opportunity. Ooh, nice. Ah, that is wild that that's a hard knockdown. I think it's a hard knockdown anyway. Was mashing and I didn't get the tech. That's okay, damage isn't the worst in the world. Yeah, I think that's a hard knockdown. Damn. Character's wild. Can I still do pillar and stuff while I'm disarmed? Oh no, I whiffed my air to air. Damn, okay. All right, close match, close match. What can I adjust here? I'm not looking for the slide enough. Especially when Wedge has rage. That is very much a round changer. Also not really just sticking my continuous slash out enough. It's fast, it can interrupt stuff. Oh, nice. I did it again. Autopiloted to throw punish on attempted pursuit. I don't know why she recovers so fast from hers.
didn't mean to throw a bubble out. I was just trying to get my standing low. Okay, I can tech it. Oh no, I didn't get the pillar. That's okay though, bubble saved me. Ah, oh, I completely screwed up my punish. There we go, there we go. Get a little mix, get the low in, combo into the pillar. And just like that, we save ourselves. I gotta be punishing the continuous slash with my own continuous slash. Missing a lot of punish opportunities and it is killing me. Ooh, nice, okay. Good read on the teleport. Okay, nice, nice attempt. There we go, there we go. I see what he was trying to do there, bursting my weapon flip to try to stick me in that animation long enough for the e to connect, but I think he was just too far for that to work. That's a good thought, though. go try overhead again try another overhead and let's do another overhead there we are the timing for the special cancel on the third head of that seems a little bit funky like I'm not getting the pillars out at all and I don't think it's even that I'm like not getting a DP input because otherwise I'd be getting bubble I'm just doing it at the wrong time. Oh, nope. You know what? I will just try to see if I can secure the round just off the, uh, the burst. There we go. <laughs> Not enough damage off the Eason, but still shifts the momentum a little. Probably a bad decision to burst there, but hey, you know what? We're okay. Oh no! 
Ah! <laughs> That's okay. I deserve that. I panic mashed. That's what learning a character is for, though. Experimenting, seeing what doesn't work. That's okay, I'll take that. Better than eating the weapon flip. Nice getting out of that. I was trying to go for Water Pillar. Caught me, though. I will just slap you away. There we go. Make a little magic happen with the timeout. There's definitely more I can be doing with this character, though. That's okay. Like I said before, figure it out one piece at a time. There we go. Get the rage route going. Ooh, that neutral jump A is a nice wall. B version probably does more damage, but it's kind of slow. That's not bad damage for a light air button. Need to find an opportunity to land a continuous slash, I think. Oh. Punish. I guess if I can't really do much in the way of pillar zoning against Iroha, I can still wall her out with this. Just like that. Okay, that's a good button. Sweet, sweet. can sometimes get the pillars going. <laughs> hey, Bubble saved me. Thank you, Bubble Buddy. Aw, oh, but I'm out of rage now, though. Let's just get some rage back. Oh, I should not have committed Bubble there, but it worked out for me anyway. I need to be doing something to discourage rolls in the corner if I want to be able to go for bubble setups a little bit more freely. Sweet, sweet. What is this? Oh, we, we have a bot here. Let me ban the bot. Let's see here. Let's ban... What is your name here? Light Weaven R. There we go. The bot is gone. I'm the bot buster. All 
All right, Wedge, I'm good to go now. Can't have that clogging up my chat. My chat is valuable real estate. The most exclusive of clubs. Oh, boy. All right, Wedge is bringing out the big guns now. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble, but I'm also committed to, to learning characters that I'm not as familiar with tonight. So I'm going to stick with Sogetsu, either Sogetsu or Shizumaru, and I'm just going to have to deal with it. Ooh, nice teleport through that. Now I'm looking for the rolls. That! <laughs> I got slapped silly! That will be round, I think. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. Okay. I deserve that. I got I got greedy. I need to find some way to shake this. Ooh, I can low profile it. Finally, I I can do something about slaps. Because that continuous slash is so quick. Alright, I wonder if I can punish the dive bomb with continuous slash. I was maybe a little slow that time. I don't know if it's just something that I can't do, or if I was just hitting the button too late. Oh, I can punish it. And and outside of throw distance, too. Okay, okay. I have an option for this matchup. Finally. Alakas' dive bomb always drove me crazy because I just could not punish it. But Sagetsu's continuous slash can do it. This is wonderful. Blah. I need to just commit to punishing way more stuff with Continuous Slash instead of trying to do like 5B into a special because it's just so good. Oh, got me. That's okay. Read my recoil cancel. Ah, there I go again. Not doing it. Now I'm feeling it. Now I'm feeling it. Of course, Wedge is feeling it too. He's got a continuous slash that's just as fast as mine. Oh no, I went for the wrong route. Yeah, I deserve that. That's okay though. That's okay. Hey, hey, welcome to chat. Oh, no. All right, 
not quite enough for rage, but that's okay. Let's go low again. That's okay, got punished for it. Low this time. Nope. I probably have some kind of tell that I'm not realizing when I go between overhead and low. Like, I think, I feel like I walk around a little bit more before I go for the low. Either that or Wedge is just reading me. Right, all right. Trades are fine. All right, punished my short roll. Fair enough, fair enough. So at far distances, I can go for the long route pretty much every time, but the special cancel route sometimes whiffs, it looks like. There we are. Cool, cool. Disconnected. Uh, are you done, or or was that like a like a desync? Okay, yeah. So so so, so Getsu is is pretty lame. Yeah, I, I'm 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 not disagreeing with you there. He is he seems to be that kind of character when he's not. Pillars are a lot harder to punish than you would think. Yeah, especially like depending on the distance, depending. I don't know. It seems like they're active for a while, so maybe if they're hitting needy, they're harder to punish. All right, well, either way, good games. Play him. All right. Let's see. What can we what can we switch over to now? Hey, Wedge, if you want to beat me up in uh, in Karnovs, just go ahead and pick Zazzy. Uh, I'm not sure if he's listening to the stream or not. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down for either. Definitely need to work on Sagetsu more. Let's see, bunch of people in Karnovs. He does have the same CS as Kazuki in that it doesn't have the issue of whiffing at range ever like a lot of the other ones. I think his, uh, there were a couple of times where the middle hit of his uh, medium, medium, heavy target combo did whiff, but if I'm just going for the long rage building one, that doesn't ever seem to whiff. I guess unless the the damage specifically would kill. There's probably not much reason for me to go into the special cancel one unless I have weapon flip anyway. Well, something to think about. But yeah, let me uh, let me jump out of five special. If you wanted to do Dankuga, I'm good with that. Or if you just want to break, that's that's cool too. Oh, got to do other stuff tonight. Oh, no biggie, no biggie. Oh, good games. That was a lot of fun. In that case, let's see who is playing something else. I guess I could give Dankuga a shot again. Been such a long time. 
could play with Americame TTV. I'm not sure who that is. You know what? We can give it a shot. I think they're also in the Karnovs lobby. Yeah, they are. Yeah, okay, here we go. Let's do it. For those of you who don't know, Dankuga is an unreleased update to Kaiser Knuckle. It's a really solid game. Uh, one, that, one that I really need to get back into practice with. Uh, whenever you want to launch <laughs> FB Neo. Or did it crap out on us? Oh, nope, nope, never mind. We got it, we got it. Just took a second. Where are you, McCoy? Round one. Fight. Let's see here. Gonzalez the Grappler. Oh, <laughs> okay. Grab me out of my frame trap attempt. No biggie, no biggie. Oh, was trying to go for the overhead. But I got the charge instead. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Good stuff. Been so long since I played this matchup. I know when I was playing Liwa, she had some kind of unique tools against Gonzalez to stop the roll pressure. I can't remember what McCoy has to deal with this matchup other than just keeping him out. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. Get some work going in here. I can't remember McCoy's desperation input. But you know what? That's okay, because McCoy does not have a great desperation move anyway. I need to be able to get that out on command and not the uh, boomerang crash, though. Because this is a really good neutral tool. I didn't get the double jump. That's okay. That's okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Not a great thing to waste my crush on, but that's okay. Ooh, on Wake Up! Oh, the trades got me. All right, all right. Here we go, on McCoy's stage. There we go. Just get my B and B out. Juggle, break the wall. Oh, nice. Stuffing my double jump. Okay, it's starting to come back to me. Okay. <laughs> Crush command grab does a lot. Oh, nope. I need to only use the heavy version of that. Try to get the cross-ups with it. All right, all right. The classic frame trap. There we are. Okay. Yeah, you really just got to sit and block against McCoy sometimes. Uh, the boomerang crash, though, has a gap in it that a lot of characters can punish with their guard cancel. Like, Gonzalez should be able to command throw between the hits for free. Well, not for free, exactly. It's kind of tight. 
Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Grab me out of the sweep? Sick stuff. Frame traps. That is what McCoy is all about. Mix and frame traps. He's only like really good neutral tool though is uh is the Sonic Bomber though. But it, it is strong, but I feel like McCoy's worst matchups are probably the zoners. I, I think I mentioned earlier, Kazuya, Gecko, uh Liza. Let's see if I can get the Nope, didn't get the combo off that. If you hit the overhead needy enough, you can combo into sweep. You have to only get one hit of it, though, and it has to be, like, the tail end of that hit. Round one. Fight. This button is so good because it's active till it hits the ground. He is anti-airing me pretty handily, though, and I've already gotten down on life because of it. McCoy's mash special is a surprisingly good anti-air. Nope, didn't get the restand. I'm just going to keep doing it if you're not going to punish it. you got for me now. Good cross up. Yeah, McCoy just wants to keep the pressure on. Up, oh, didn't get the restand at either that time. I'm going to try to do it. It's easier to do it on Gonzalez than it is a lot of other characters. Like the big characters you can get the restand on a lot easier. I just am way out of practice. Gonzalez, uh, Marco, Boggy. Oh, speaking of, there's Marco. I love Marco's stage. It's so cool. Okay, okay. Fair enough. There, you've got this one. I'm not playing patiently at all. <laughs> that's okay, though. That's okay. Nice punish. I was a little too far to do that. Oh, okay. Wake up, uh, hands. Good stuff. Oh, okay. I can just punish that. That's right. Well, not if I'm trying to go forward wall. That's okay. That's okay. Getting some data. All good. All good. So I can punish that with Jet Upper. Good to know. And now I have that. And now it is not a free option for him. Got to be aware when it's going to whiff, too. Nice, nice.
he can do the uh, the monster mash in between hits of boomerang crash. That should punish it. If he ever happens to watch this stream, now he can he can know. Try now. There we go. I actually don't know if that crossed up or not, or if it just hit. Round one. Fight. Ooh, nice, nice. Get me out of my overhead. Good stuff. I'll just keep going low then. Hey, cool, cool. Defensive throws, love to see it. I should have just stayed on the other side, pushed him to the corner. I gotta be on it with punishing that thing. That too. Jet up is nice that way. Ah, got me. Nice conversion off it too. I forgot how good the music in this game is. You all should do yourselves a favor and listen to the soundtrack on YouTube. Here, one second. Got to plug something in. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No time to do that. Blah. Oh, cross up. Got to find the range to do that again. Honk! Speaking of games with great sound design just like Carnov's, got to love the honk throw. Oh no, I missed. Try it again. Nope. Oh no, I was too far. That's okay. Didn't get punished for it. Alright, now I can plug this in so that I have phone battery for tomorrow. Nice anti-air. Good defensive mash too. There we go. Crush Thunderbolt does so much damage. I've never seen a Marco player in my life who man this is. I am battling uh, Americame TTV. He started with Gonzalez and is now playing Marco. I've seen some Marco players before. Czar had an amazing Marco. I mean, Zar had an amazing everybody in this game, honestly. I wonder what ever happened to Zar. I don't know if he's still in this community or, like, if he's still doing breaker stuff. He's a nice guy, really knowledgeable. Like, he will, he will not let you get away with stuff. <laughs> Marco is too thick, yeah. Hey, come on, there's, there's all kinds of bodies in the world. And Marco has several of them, it looks like. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Again, great conversions off the mash. Good punish, good punish. Catch you walking in, though. Can't do mash moves first, McCoy. That slide can beat Marco's and Liza's. Oh, Americame the VSAV player? I didn't know he was well known in uh, in another game. That's cool. Oh wait, is he the uh, is he the Victor player? I remember hearing like I, I'm not very knowledgeable about VSAV, but I remember hearing about like there was one guy who makes Victor work. Was that him? Ooh, nice, nice. That's okay. Take the trade. Yeah, okay. If, if, if he likes Victor, then no wonder he likes Marco. Made a bunch of beginner videos, too. I think, I think I've seen some of those. Well, that's really cool. I hope he likes this game, too. Oh, nice. Okay, stuffing me. Oh, sick. Had to go for it. It was either going to hit or chip. Round one. Fight. Flat. Got me. All right, good poking. Okay, yeah, just stuffing me. There you go, just play patiently and you can stop me from doing all my nonsense. Oh, no, oh, no. Did not mean to do that. I was just trying to walk forward and then sweep. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Nicely done. You got a mash while I'm doing a uh, crash. You can mash the crash. This stage fucks. What the hell? Yeah, this stage is so cool. You should see the other side too. If I can, uh, if I can get the other wall broken. I don't know if that's gonna happen though. We're in this part of the arena now. Oh, I probably could have comboed off that. I hit it really needy. Yeah, all the stages in this game are great. The the left side of that one, it looks like something out of Doom. All right, yeah. Back to Gonzalez, okay. Not so speedy Gonzalez. Very strong Gonzalez. I bet I can punish the dive kick with Jet Upper. Not sure which version I want to use, though. Might depend on where on the screen we are. Ah! <laughs> Good grapples.
Oh no! I went through it because of the uh, the roll. I thought I could just get the chip. Maybe should have just gone for boomerang crash. Or the mash special would have been active long enough. Probably a waste of my crush damage. Nice! Oh, shit! We're just going to throw each other back and forth here. I'm not staying in throw range, though. Not for very long, anyway. Oh, no! Cross up. Got my button. Good stuff. Oh, the damage. The damage is wild. There we go. That one was much closer. He's definitely seeing my patterns and finding where he can command grab me. I think if I delay the Sonic Bomber, though, it's active enough that he has to block it. Nope. Missed the restand. I would like to hit it, though. Go anti airs. Round two. Fight. Oh, nice cross up. Oh, there it goes again. All right, got me, got me. Just like that, we're nearly even. That's okay, sneak the overheads in. Funny thing about that overhead is that the, the input is forward and heavy punch, so it's gonna overlap with boomerang crash. But if you hit the three punch macro, even when you have charge, you'll get the overhead and not the special. Not sure why that is, but hey, you know what? I'll take it. Nope, too far. Okay. I think I can only really punish that dive kick if he lands in the corner. Or if he's landing that close to me. All right, so that's entirely something to do with the spacing. That 
Mash is such a nice anti-air. Oh, no! There we go. Get the chip. Chips Ahoy. Chips McCoy. Oh no, I was just trying to get the forward slide. Oh no! Is this gonna kill? Oh, almost. There we go, get the chip. I guess he could have rolled there, but I can vary up the timing of when the second hit comes out, depending on what version I use and how much I mash it. So it can be kind of ambiguous. There we go, just gotta YOLO those sometimes. Nice. Okay, red me. That's fine. Get you on falling with that. Oh, no! You command grab my frame trap. How rude of you. You're going to jump. You're going to roll. Jumping a lot. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'll be cheeky like that. I will certainly be cheeky like that. Thought you were just gonna sit on that life lead and swap me away when I come in. But I gotta cross up. Oh, didn't have charge for Jet Upper. Oh, oh, thought maybe he was going to go for the dive kick. Bury the timing of it. Oh no! <laughs> Grab me out of my overhead. Oh, nice! The empty jump throws. Desperate times. Call for desperate mashing. All right. All right. See if I can get it. Nope. That's okay. I'll take that version. That was technically not a true combo. He could have escaped uh, the second boomerang crash. If I had timed it correctly, I would have restanded him, restood him, and continued the combo in a way that wouldn't have the potential to drop. Ooh, nice cross up. I see what you're doing trying to roll command grab me. But if I stick out something that's active long enough, you have to block it. And if you're already buffering the command grab, you may not.
Let's see if I can get it. Nope, too early. I am so out of practice with that restand. Used to be able to get multiple reps on this guy. It was stun. Well, not on Amerikame specifically. Never played him before, but on Gonzalez. Yep. Let's mash. Okay, get throw out of our mashing. That works. I have no complaints. Round two. Fight. fine. Good trades for me. There we go. Got the restand. Ah, didn't get the full one, though. That's okay. It's something. It's something to be proud of. That's a rough situation to be in. <laughs> doing it. I'll admit, I get kind of flowcharty with McCoy, but it's a good flowchart. There we go. See, you can punish Boomerang Crash with the uh, command grab. There we go. He's got it. He's got it. He's got the guard cancels. Awesome. Yes, I can't do that for free anymore. Yeah, there we go. Throw me all over the place. Good, good shit. Oh no! <laughs> Very nice. I was too far to get that punish. Excellent, excellent. I love to see it. Okay, now Boomerang Crash is no longer a free block, block string for me. And he gets the, the Crush Command Grab. Oh, that's sick. Okay, and he can do that uh, against my frame trap, too. Hey, hey, he's figuring this matchup out. I got to set my game up. Oh, the trades. Nicely done. Rocking it, Americame. Here, I'm going to tell him. Nice guard cancels. Round one. Fight. No reason not to be polite. Oh, oh, was he typing back? Oops, my bad. Just give him a quick explanation here. There we go. Round two. Fight. 
And now he's got that knowledge. One more bit of explanation. Round one. Fight. Oh, there we go, there we go. Whoop! Got me, got me. Ooh, nice interrupt. He is, he's seen that enough times to know what to do. Oof. Nope, bad range for cross up. That's okay, I'll take it there. I'll take it there. That's fine. Round two. Fight. Now it is getting a little bit on the late side, so I may need to cut this short soon. Oh, nice, nice. Let's see if I can get it. There we go, got it. One more. There we go. And stun ender. Well, not quite the full stun ender. <laughs> oh, and I dropped the overhead after that. That's okay, that's okay. I still did a cool combo. I can feel accomplished, even if I didn't get the uh, the full stun out of it. Ooh, nice! Empty jump command grabs! Oh, good shit, good shit. You deserve a pop-off for that. I was so caught up in getting the restand again. Can I do it again, though? Ooh, combo into it. Good shit, good shit. Did make me waste my crush doing that, though. What do you say we do, I don't know, two more, then I gotta go. Round one. Fight. Oof. combo there. Maybe didn't hit it quite meaty enough. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, nice. Okay, good anti-airs, good anti-airs. Can I do it? Nope. Ah, 
All righty. I think this is going to be my last match of the night. After this, I will see who I can send you all over to. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been a lot of fun. Got to play some really sick games. There we go, a little frame trap into the standing heavy punch. I gotta use that button more. It's a pretty solid poke. It's not Sonic Bomber good, but it is, I think, a little bit faster, maybe? And this is McCoy's, like, one totally disjointed button, his standing heavy kick. So I can go, like, pop, pop. Okay, can't really do that. There we go. He got it again. Nice, nice. I love to see it. Don't let me do it for free. <laughs> I'll once again get cheeky with things like that. Good games, Americame. All right, and with that, I would say this has been a pretty successful stream, so let's see who we can raid. Who is playing what at the moment? Let's see here. Let's see B-Boy Sonic X playing Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. See Daring playing some Pokemon Platinum. Weenie Bagel on Grand Blue Fantasy. You know what? Let's uh let's send you on over to Weenie Bagel. Alrighty. Thank you again for tuning in, and I will see y'all next time.